afternoon, folks. This is Manny Magoo. Uh, it is Monday, November the 9th, and uh, it's about 2.30 p.m. We've got a half an hour left before we go in a power hour, and I just wanted to do an afternoon recap regarding uh, the stocks on the watch list from yesterday. Wanted to go over a few with them. Uh, market's unbelievable today. Uh, nobody expected this huge gap up. So um, I'm just going to dive right into it. The first stock we had on our watch list was Cree, uh, C-R-E-E. -E. Now, folks, uh, when this stock opened, it already opened up above the line that I had, which was last week's high of $71.21. Folks, I do not trade the pre-market, okay? So if it gaps up, the train has left the station, and I missed it. Uh, I do not FOMO in. I do not chase. That's not my style of trading. Uh, as you can see, it did pull back. It broke again the support, which was last week's high of 71.28. And uh, for those of you who even wanted to take this short, uh, God bless you. Um, it, it's really pulled back quite a bit. It's trading now at $66.29. Okay. Um, <clears throat> going to the next stock here. Uh, we have uh, Workhorse, okay, WKHS. Okay, now, folks, uh, please pay attention to this. This is very, very important, okay? Uh, as you can see, uh, I always have my yellow lines, which is the uh, previous month's high, previous month's low, okay? And then what I do is I always go to a weekly chart, and I draw my high on the previous week's high and the previous week's low. The previous week's high was $19.19. .19. So what do I do? Well, if it breaks $19.19, .19, I take it. Uh, knowing that $19.19 .19 then automatically becomes my support. Okay? So uh, this was actually the only trade we took so, so far today in the room. Um, workhorse uh, broke $19.19 .19 at 12.43 p.m. We took the trade, and um, what we decided to do is we actually uh, waited till this little break here, and I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, as soon as uh, Workhorse, uh, what we did was we, we took the trade. Um, it started working for us. This almost looks like a, a little flag pattern here. It broke to the upside, reached $20.08. Um, would have loved to take the profit there, but we thought that it would probably continue running uh, with the amount of um, market pressure that's been happening today to the upside. Uh, but Workhorse did pull back. Um, I What I did was I actually put a stop right here at the end of this candle. If you see, the that last candle is $19.30. Um, I was willing to wait that long. Reason being, I got in at 1920. I always usually put my order in about a penny or two above the last week's high price because usually what happens is it can hit 1919 and then pull back, and that's what I'm going to show you. So I um, I raised my stop to um, the low was at 1930. Uh, I put my stop there. Uh, it did not get there. It pulled back. I raised my stop to this candle's low, which was $19.40. And once it broke $19.40, folks, I was out. So um, not a home run trade at all. Um, however, um, you know, uh, if it doesn't go my way, I usually like to get out knowing that uh, it came back. It broke the support, bounced off $19.19 went up again, put in a lower high, broke again the support, and as you can see here, look at this, folks. I mean, I don't make this stuff up. This candle went exact, as soon as it breaks the 1919 area, which when it's above it, it is support, okay? As you can see here, okay, this automatically becomes support. As soon as it breaks it, what happens? It becomes resistance. And as you can see, it's tried many times to break it. It actually went up to 1919 exactly at the 1403 candle. It went again, 1919, pulled back, 
tried it again um, a little while ago and uh, again pulled back so as you can see um, weekly highs and weekly lows are major areas of support and resistance and I try to keep it simple okay so that's my take on workhorse it's the only trade we took so far today um, the next on our list was Moderna MRNA now as you can see this is the pre-market area here uh, it jumped up I do not trade pre-market um, many people do many people are successful at it me personally I am very conservative and I like to wait till the opening bell another thing I usually don't like trading um, the first 10 15 minutes of the trading day it's very volatile I like things to settle folks uh, I guess I'm getting a little older in my age and uh, I like to take my time okay so uh, again it did um, it, it did uh, break this area in pre-market that I had here at $74.16 and boy was it off to the races and uh, it's up a good 8% uh, today Moderna so it, it was a good trade uh, however again uh, I did not take the trade and the reason being is because it did gap up and uh, it was before the trading hours of 930 and I don't trade pre-market uh, going into Shaq same thing with Shaq S-H-A-K uh, Shaq uh, busted the through the weekly high of last week which was seventy two dollars and thirty five cents it actually went through the monthly high of seventy five forty two again I missed this trade folks I do not trade pre-market it went as high as eighty six dollars and ninety nine cents and for those of you that do trade pre-market and did play those breaks well congratulations uh, you are making a tremendous amount of money today okay on to the next one was FSLY fastly again folks uh, did not trade this the high is 7506 that's the weekly high uh, I did not trade it it's an inside week right now if you take a look at the weekly candle okay uh, we have an inside week so it's below the high of the previous week and above the low of the previous week until fastly breaks at least seventy five dollars and zero six cents i will be sitting on my hands and not may take in this trade okay uh next but not least neo good old neo wow this stock has been an absolute runner folks uh we are still in this stock um i trimmed a tiny tiny little bit but hang on to the majority of my position as you can see on the weekly chart it's actually broke again last week's high which was forty three dollars and thirty cents and um, this stock has been absolutely incredible for those who took this trade with me back in the end of September beginning of October in this consolidation phase of twenty dollars to twenty one dollars congratulations we are up more than one hundred percent on good old neo last but not least we were also in DraftKings. this was a position that i did take last week um i decided to exit the position and let me show you why uh draft kings did gap up in uh, pre-market 45 dollars and 20 cents came back broke last week's high of 43 dollars and 60 cents and as um, soon as it reclaimed it and started marching up I was getting very very excited but at the same time what I did was I put a stop at the 4360 level uh, which was last week's high uh, I decided that you know the trade uh, just didn't seem like it wanted to work a um, lot of weakness at the open completely dropped down um, it did get me out at forty three dollars and sixty cents and basically um, continued this downhill spiral another reason I decided to get out uh, was because on let's see here 1113 we have earnings okay um, it was a great trade uh, I took this trade back um, on the break of 3667 I, I you know I, I was happy folks and um, 
you know, uh, you can't win them all. Um, we, we did very well. I, I thought for sure, especially today, with the market being up so much, I thought for sure that DraftKings would run, but maybe people are waiting for earnings just to see what happens before they um, they really hop on DraftKings and, and, and take it for hopefully another ride. But um, other than that, folks, um, we, uh, we're happy to say that, uh, again, we didn't really... Um, you know, take many trades today. You do not have to trade every single day. If something doesn't work out in your favor, you just sit back and watch. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm very patient, and that's what you have to be in order to be successful in this business. Anyhow, um, I hope that uh, this video has helped you all. I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. That would be great. Uh, would really help my channel. I just started this, folks. I've been trading for over 20 years, but uh, decided uh, with friends and family members to go live, uh, create my own channel, and I hope it brings a lot of a, a good education to you all. If you all have any further questions, please email me at hunterchasetrading at gmail.com, and uh, good luck in the next hour. Uh, we're approaching power hour here, and I wish everyone luck and uh, safe trading.